what's up guys another early little brisk morning so today headed to work not on call today actually but today is a very special day today i'm covering interventional radiology so today i want to talk briefly about what exactly is interventional radiology a lot of people are not familiar with what this specialty is a lot of people in medicine are not familiar as well as of course people outside of medicine may not be familiar either so interventional radiology is very unique. It's in a state of transition. Initially, it was a fellowship. It was a subspecialty training after you completed your radiology fellowship, after you completed your radiology residency. And essentially what you do is you do minimally invasive image guided surgical techniques. So what does that mean? That means that you don't do traditional surgical procedures where you know the patient gets goes under anesthesia, and you slice open the abdomen and then you go in and you repair what needs to be repaired. Instead, what you do is you rely heavily on imaging. And the way that medicine is going, as our technology continues to increase, we begin to rely on imaging more and more. And with the advanced techniques, we're able to see more and more. So what a radiologist does is a radiologist is a master of anatomy and relies on images to make a diagnosis. What an interventional radiologist does is he already has that solid foundation of diagnostic radiology. So he's also able to read images, find pathology and diagnose it, but then he'll go one step further. And what they do is they will do procedures based off of the images. Now, what kind of procedures do interventional radiologists do? There's two main flavors or two main pathways you can kind of think of. One is things that are not vascular, so meaning not in arteries and veins because interventional radiologists do a lot of procedures that don't involve going into the blood vessels okay those things include biopsies or taking small tissue samples of cancers and other lesions other things like putting in drains meaning if someone has an infection in the chest or in the abdomen or in the pelvis you can put in drains to help pull, uh, remove the infection because sometimes medical management is not enough and that's when interventional radiology can intervene and then you have all the vascular side, which includes veins and arteries. That means stenting, putting IVC filters, uh, clot retrieval. When someone has a clot in, some, in their brain, in their lungs, you can pull out the clot. So interventional radiology, as just in my training, in my years of internal medicine training, interventional radiology was on the rise, up and up. And I felt like I was personally consulting with them so frequently and that's what made me decide that, you know what, since I consult with them so much, why not try to do it myself? And that's how I ended up here, essentially, in a, in a nutshell. What's also different is that interventional radiology is now branching to become its own subspecialty. That's really the direction that interventional radiology is looking to go. Interventional radiology is really beginning to branch off and become its own separate entity outside of diagnostic radiology. But as things stand for now, just think of it as an umbrella term of radiology. And within that umbrella, one of the subspecialties of radiology is interventional radiology. And last thing that I want to mention about interventional radiology is the fact that why do patients even get referred to interventional radiology in the first place? When you already have vascular surgery, you have general surgery, you have other specialties that potentially could do the same thing, right? In theory, that makes sense. However, what's different about interventional radiology is a lot of patients are not good surgical candidates. That's at least traditionally how it was. Patients are not good surgical candidates. You don't want to take them to the operating room. There's a chance of high mortality, high morbidity. So you get interventional radiology involved to see if you can do it minimally invasive. It's safer for the patient and sometimes the patient won't be able to tolerate anything more. But now as time is progressing and as our imaging gets more and more advanced, as the push of medicine in general, including surgery, is going towards minimally invasive surgery, it's better for patients, it's better for physicians. Physicians don't have to go undergo these long procedures and have patients stay in the hospital. And of course, for patients, if you don't need to have your abdomen opened up, anybody would prefer not to have that. So as time is progressing, interventional radiology gets involved more and more. And again, it's a consulting service, interventional radiology, as at this time in most places doesn't have their own service so you don't really have your own patients you really do depend on consultation from our colleagues so that's a little bit of how interventional gets interventional radiology gets involved and then after it gets involved there's a lot of things that that can be done so that's basically how interventional radiology gets involved with patient care the day consists of scheduled cases and then emergent cases as they come along
one of the things that completely slipped my mind is one of the major things that interventional radiology does, and that's oncology or cancer work. From that's placing chest ports so that patients can receive chemotherapy to ablation, meaning burning, freezing, starving tumors and essentially trying to destroy tumors. That's a really important thing that interventional radiologist does. But with that being said, let's go. And just like that, it's done. So yeah, as you can see, it's dark out now. It's about 6.30 p.m. Just finished up the day. It was quite a eventful day. Did about seven or eight procedures. Just came out of the ICU, had to remove some chest tubes, placed an IVC filter, biopsied some cancers, one in the lung and another one in the liver. What else did we do today? Placed some drains for an abscess and drained a lot of fluid from the lungs. And yeah, I mean, I'm trying to remember, I feel like there was something else, but yeah, it's been quite an eventful day, like I said, yeah, but this is a short glimpse into what life in interventional radiology is like. And uh, overall, it's fantastic. Now it's time to rest up and come back again, forward again tomorrow. I'll catch you then. Later.